Hey, Victor, uh, before we get to the game, I was just wondering your reaction to Pop uh, signing a five-year contract. His reaction? Oh, um, you know, it's, of course, it's, it's just another sign from, from him and from the franchise that they care about the project. There's something, uh, something great going on, starting, and uh, yeah, it just, you know, we, we kind of knew it was going to happen, but now it's, you know, let's get it rolling. It's, uh, we, we can get started now. Tim Reynolds in the back. Victor, was it a byproduct of the way? Just so, sorry, I can't hear you. Was it a byproduct of the flow of the game, or had you made up your mind that you wanted to be more aggressive tonight? You looked, especially after you got the first basket, after you, after you got your first one to go down, it just seemed like there was a lot more aggression from you on the offensive end, especially tonight. Was that by design or just sort of the way the game happened? You know, to me, it's just, um, it's just me, me getting comfortable with, with myself, with my body, with the, the court. Because, I, you know, before today, I had like uh, two practices in one game. So uh, it's just, I was just getting going. Physicality of the game. Yeah. <laughs> How's your face? And, and what is the difference have you noticed so far? Obviously, this is summer league. It's not the real NBA season. But what have you noticed is the difference between the league you were playing in and the style of play here? You know, it's, first of all, the court is more open. Uh, it's going fast. But it's, it's less physical and uh, and I get fouled a lot, but not as much. <laughs> Nothing to compare. And uh, yes, and people are like, people are like, here, people are like, players are just flying, you know. Out, out there it's more on the ground, pushing on the ground, big box outs. Here it's great athletes, the best in the world. More, way more talent. And uh, yeah, but uh, I like this better though. Hey, Victor, um, obviously it's just summer league, but after your debut, how good did it feel to have a performance like you just did tonight? Well, uh, I wish we would have won the game. And uh, it's, yeah, I, I think I could have done more to, to, to help my team win this game. It is, we gotta keep learning. And uh, we've been, uh, we've, we haven't been playing our best for like three quarters, but in the fourth, we were really dominating and, uh, it, it, sh it shows a real personality of a team, and uh, I think that personally, I'm just, you know, uh, it's normal to get to get better every game. Two days ago was my first game. I had like a, so much shit going on with the draft, with the media and stuff. So I got a. So it's just, you know, it makes sense. Victor, to kind of jump on Melissa's question, I know it's not your goal to give these people a show, but was there just a small part of you that was a bit relieved to give them the show that you gave them tonight? No, you know, it's... The sh I think the best show for, for the fans is the, is the win. So, uh, obviously, it's just summer league, but, um, yeah, I think, I think they, can see, they can see us developing. They, they, could, they could see us developing tonight, getting better. And so, yeah, it's, I think we, yeah, we gave them a good show. Yes, uh, you have two actually really good agents, uh, one in particular, uh, Bona. Just wanted to ask you what he's meant to you over the years and uh, what kind of impact does he have on you on a daily basis? This is the first time I get asked this, you know. Buna was actually, uh, I've known him for a long time. He was, he knew my parents for a long time before. And um, even though he's, he's, he's supposed to be the best, and he's a gen, his agency is supposed to be the best in France and one of the best in the world, it wasn't a, an, an, obvious, an obvious choice for me to, to, to work with them. Back, I'm, I'm saying like three, four years ago, and uh, so, but uh, when, I, when I sat down and talked to him and Jeremy also, uh, I saw that I felt like they could be more than just agents, you know? And because uh, there are people who are trying to actually know me and uh, who don't care about, they don't care about the money. They don't care about the, the, the contracts. They're not trying to make me sign 
the most marketing contracts, you know, because we got something greater to, to, to entertain. We got some, something greater going on. And, uh, yeah, we, like, they, they, they strive for, for greatness. And uh, I think in the whole world, they're probably the, 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 only, the only people who would, that suit me to, to be my agents. Victor, to pick up on that, Buna told me tonight, in fact, that you told him, I just want to get back to playing basketball. Are you glad now that with these, all this over, that, that that's what you can concentrate on? Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, late, in the past month, uh, I, don't, I think basketball was in even 50% of my schedule. That was, you know, I, I can't stand it. I know it's a, it's, it's a special moment in my life, but it's, I'm glad it's over. Honestly, it's, I, I just want to hoop. I just want to work out, lift, and because uh, this is my life. Obviously, everyone, I mean, every first pick got to go through this. But, uh, yeah, it just, just make me, makes me better for the future. Uh, building on that, what, what are the rest of your plans for the summer? Do you plan on playing any more in summer league? And then after that, what, is, what are the next two, three months going to look like for you heading into the season? You know, uh, I know I got I to gotta talk with Pop. Uh, I'm going to listen to what he's got to say, but I'm ready to, I'm ready to make any sacrifice for the team and uh, give 100%. And, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to – I need to sit down with the Spurs to, to, to know what the, the next months are going to be like, when to, when to go on vacation, when to start back working out, where I'm going to practice in San Antonio somewhere else. And, uh, yeah, I, I just know we got, as I'm not playing in the World Cup, we got two to three months, two to three great months going, that, are, that are coming, and they're going to they're gonna change my life. I'm probably going to disappear from the media for, for the next month, honestly. Victor, bonsoir. bonsoir. Uh, tu as fait une rencontre uh, incroyable hier avec, uh, avec Karim Abdul-Jabbar. Uh, C'était vraiment un échange intéressant. 24 heures après, justement, uh, qu'est-ce que tu retiens de cet échange-là avec lui j'ai trouvé que c'était tous tout ces conseils c'était vraiment très posé et euh, il s'est il s'est pas, pas répété euh, répété deux fois en fait dans les conseils qu'il m'a donné je, il a vu que je pense que j'étais vraiment à l'écoute et que enfin pour moi c'était c'était impressionnant de voir euh, voilà Isaiah Thomas et Karim Abdul Jabbar et euh, et euh, ouais on voit que je je sens vraiment qu'il y a pas seulement pour moi mais envers tous les tous les jeunes tous les jeunes joueurs je sens vraiment qu'il a une, une compassion et, et voilà et qui à, à la fois il nous communique à quel point on a de la chance d'être ici mais aussi il nous donne des conseils précieux et toujours très posé. Il y a un conseil justement que tu retiens basket ou hors basket Il n'y en a pas un, un en particulier, il y en a plusieurs. Une dernière question, euh, tu as vécu évidemment énormément de choses depuis le début de la semaine ici à Las Vegas. L'extra sportif, le sportif, premier match, le deuxième, euh, la rencontre aussi hier. Bref, qu'est-ce que tu retiens justement Quel bilan tu tires de ce, pour l'instant cette semaine à Vegas Disons que c'est euh, c'était une, une semaine chargée en termes d'emploi du temps et d'événements. Et je voilà, je suis, je suis content qu'on commence enfin à, à être sérieux au niveau basket. Et euh, voilà, je peux. C'est dur d'attendre, je, je suis vraiment pressé, j'ai faim de, de continuer et de, ouais, voilà, de, de retrouver l'équipe pour le début de saison aussi. Victor, euh, Loïc Piala pour l'AFP. Euh, vous, vous répétez que vous êtes super bien entouré, vous, êtes, vous avez l'air toujours très préparé, mais là avec les trois semaines que vous venez de vivre, euh, est-ce qu'il y a quelque chose qui vous a plus agacé, qui vous a plus fatigué, qui vous a plus étonné que ce que vous aviez préparé dans votre tête, euh, dans votre tête Ouais, il y, y a des fois, il y, y, y a beaucoup d'obligations qui m'ont qui m'ont surpris, d'obligations euh, médiatiques, euh, que ce soit la NBA ou autre chose. Et, et euh, c'est pas aller en conférence après un match, ça c'est ça c'est rien, c'est cinq minutes. Mais mais des fois c'est voilà une caméra qui te suit même dans ta chambre. Et, donc ouais, il y, 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 y a pas mal de trucs euh, qui m'ont surprise, mais seulement seulement en basket quoi. Comme je disais plus tôt, c'est la majorité de mon, mon emploi du temps, il n'était même pas dédié au basket et c'est regrettable. Merci. Merci. Merci.